Hey everybody, Padawan here, coming at you inside the Dark Sun box truck. I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of a blurb while we get ready to head to Fishersville. As you know, the truck's warming up right now. Wise man's rules. You gotta warm up the truck, do your regular maintenance, check your oil, check your tire pressure. It's stuff that you gotta do. Uh, so we're gonna be heading up to Fishersville to set up for this gun show. Uh, and I got a little surprise in store for you guys. So I'm gonna be keeping you checked in while we do our flight down to Fishersville. So keep up with me. Looking forward to making this video for you guys. Padawan out. Padawan here bringing you Padawan pit stop number one. Uh, stopping down here at the Lodge in Amelia to fill up my cooler with ice. One of the perks and benefits of being a brother here. Uh, love it. Couldn't ask for better guys in the Lodge. All right, so we're going to go in here and get filled up with ice. I'll check back in once we get back on the road. Padawan out. Padawan back again. All filled up with ice in the cooler. Ready to hit the road. I uh, just want to give a quick shout out to my guys. Let me take this down here. Uh, once a month, first Saturday of every month, the Lodge does hold an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast here at Amelia. If you're local to the area, come check us out. We've got plenty of good food, and we'd love to serve you guys. Now, I can't always be there because I show up to meet people like our subscribers and our customers every weekend at the gun shows, but I definitely want to shout out and support my Lodge. So check this out. All you can eat pancake breakfast. First Saturday of every month, 7.30 to 10 a.m. So if you're local to the area, want to get some good food and help out our lodge, come check us out. Pat one out, hitting the road. All right, everybody, Padawan coming back at you. We've made it to Fishersville safely. A lot of wind, a lot of water on the roads. It is raining. Um, we're going to do our load in, get it set up. I'll show you guys the tables. And then, like I said, I got that special surprise for you guys after we get everything done. So I'll check back in with you guys when we show off the tables after everything's loaded in. Coming back at you soon. Padawan out. All right, Dark Sun World. Uh, right back here with the Padawan. So I was not able to get everything fully set up as intended. So I am not going to be able to show you guys those tables. However, I do have a surprise for you guys. And uh, what we're going to be doing tonight, we are going to be setting up in the truck to do a camping adventure. So the first thing we're going to do and show you guys, I am going to be cooking up dinner. Got some marinade chicken and some rice that I'm going to make. So I'll be taking some video of that for you guys it's gonna be good and then of course we got the little Coleman grill catch the little propane to it I got my utensils my pot and of course I got all my stuff back here and I've got a light so we could show everything that's going on because that light will not stay on forever so stay tuned I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna cook up this meal get everything set up and then we'll go from there back at you soon all right, everybody, Padawan here. So I am gonna be camping out in the truck tonight. That's a surprise for you guys. I'm also gonna be showing you guys me cooking up some dinner, um, which I'm gonna be using this Coleman stove that I got right here. And I'm gonna be cooking something simple. I didn't wanna do anything crazy. Uh, we're gonna be doing a Noor chicken fried rice side. I really like these, the Noors are good stuff. And I've also got some chicken that's been marinating in teriyaki honey sauce all day. Lowry's, it's some good stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get everything set up. So bear with me just a second. I did have an issue, because I tried this already once before. I had a real issue, so we're hoping that doesn't happen again. All right. All right, everybody, Padawan's back with you. So uh, as I said before in the I'm going to be cooking up dinner, so i got the Coleman grill set up. I'm going to flip this around here. Alright, perfect. I'm going to get a light. light. That's good. Let's see if we can get this lit. Grill. All 
right? So I am not getting a consistent flame with this Coleman grill on the grill side. So it looks like we may be having to cook in the pot. So if that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and make the rice first, which is gonna be a nor pasta rice side, chicken fried rice. Why not? I mean, I'm already having chicken, why not double it up? And I've got some marinated chicken. It's been marinating in some honey teriyaki sauce all day. So, let's get this poured up. All right, so we are gonna get the water that right here. Some deer park. And pour this up into the pan. And now I only need one and three fourths of cups. And I don't have a measuring cup with me, so I'm just kind of going based off of feel. So we are going to let this come up to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the pot. Put that on the stove. Alright. So I had to turn the camera around. It's a one-man show this time. I don't have somebody to work the camera for me. So we're going to let this cook up. Um, I can tell some Padawan stories. Since this is Padawan camping trip, Padawan gets his own stories. So, <coughs> this grill has actually been used by my family many times on a, several camping trips. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit so we can get boiling sooner. Alright, so I'm going to dump the package in. Alright, there we go. So, Padawan stories. So, you guys have heard some of my ghost stories in the podcast. You've heard our, the Doomsday Basement. So, you guys have kind of heard some stuff from me before. And, y'all know I'm not really worldly in that kind of way. So, but I really do love my family. And, um, you know, I got my mom. James is my stepdad. Been married to my mom for a long time. Uh, great people. I love them very much. I'm very much a family-oriented person. I got a large family spread out over many places. Um, from here in Virginia where I'm at, North Carolina, from there all the way down to Florida and Alabama. I got a huge family on both sides. So I've done a lot of traveling on the roads. Like The mileage I've probably accumulated over my lifetime is probably astronomical so far but it's only been driven I've actually never flown in a plane which is crazy if you think about it um, I don't even know like, it's just never been something I've needed to do I've always driven back and forth um, and this was even growing up um, we just ride the roads never had a reason to fly never gone further west than now Ohio because I went up to Ohio with a couple friends of mine um, went up to the Columbus Zoo had a great time so but another good story that I can tell you guys is that how I got involved in this so the wise man has always been the wise man but the Padawan wasn't always the Padawan so we met each other through our fraternal organization um, started hanging out with each other a little bit more, and he actually um, was also a mentor to my two brothers, Austin and John, that I mentioned on the podcast. So we were just, we would always just hang out, talk to each other, um, and then he's like, hey, do you want to get involved with something I'm doing? I said, what do you mean? What are you doing? He's like, let's build a business. And I was like, I'm in. Why not? You know, who wants to be part of the corporate machine for the rest of their life, you know? 
Everybody wants to have something that they can call their own. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So I'm going to throw that up there for now. And there goes the light, just like I told you guys. Thankfully, we have our backups. Always bring a backup for anything that you do. So this is still boiling up. I'm going to stir it every now and again. This is going to be some good chicken fried rice. Uh, if you couldn't tell, the Padawan's a little bit clumsy. I'm going to put the lid on this real quick. So it can come to the boil a little bit easier. But yeah, and then we started doing Dark Sun. Uh, clip, clip, clip grip together. And then we decided, hey, let's go to the gun shows. Because when I started this adventure, I was not proficient in guns. I didn't know much. Wasn't really my forte. Most of what Padawan knew was from Call of Duty. That was it. And uh, copious amounts of World War II documentaries. <laughs> I'm a big history guy. Uh, love World War II. Uh, just all the history surrounding that. Plus, I used to watch the History Channel back in the day when the History Channel was good. Now, not so much. So that's where we are. And better for it, I think. We are really getting really successful at what we're doing. Hold on, folks. All right, we're all good. Uh, Padawan had to run a perimeter check really quick. Saw some lights outside. Turns out somebody else is doing the same thing as me, except they got better. They had a different setup there, you know, a little, like, small toy trailer. But it is nice, though. So, yeah, that's how Padawan got under the tutelage of the wise man. But I cannot complain, because that got me where I am now. When I started the journey, I was actually a lot heavier, probably in the high 300 to 400 range. And I've slimmed down a lot, folks. Through the rigorous training provided by one wise man, your Padawan has gotten in way better shape. So I am very grateful to the wise man for helping me do that. So we will be checking in over the course of time, you know, on this rice while it's getting up to boiling temperature. And then I am going to have to use one of these pots as almost like a pan to cook up this chicken because sadly the grill is not working. But I do have bigger pots so that will work out just fine for me. Alright, so the first rule of any kind of cave, in this metaphor, this is my cave, the truck, you always have to keep rules. Wise man has laid down the rules. Keep the truck clean. And this, you keep the cave clean. You know, shit where you're sleeping. Don't make a mess. Because it just makes it worse for everybody. And obviously, you take care of the cave. You protect your cave. Padawan does have stuff that, if it needed, will come in great handy. But I doubt it. Uh, guys, this is already smelling great. Show you guys what's going on. Check that out. Starting to boil up really nicely. Getting up a little bit at a time. Alright, hold on, let me get you guys back in position. Alright, there we go. You always take care of the cave. Never make a mess in it. Take care of the cave. Because the cave's going to protect you. And paddle one needs protected. <laughs> I'm only joking, folks. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've actually never done anything like this before. And this was just a 
suggestion by the wise man, something I might try. And I am trying to get prepared for living in rougher conditions. So I took him up on the offer. I said, yeah, I'll go camp. I don't mind a bit. So here we are. So I'll check it back in with you guys here in a little bit once this gets up to boil. And uh, then we're gonna throw it on a simmer and then I'll be back to tell some more stories. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, folks. We do have our rice coming up to a boil. So I'm gonna pull this off the burner. And we are just kind of kind of let this simmer for a few minutes. So stir that up. All right, there we go. So while that's that's gonna be simmering for a little bit. Alrighty, folks. So we are have simmered down, and the rice is ready to just wait on the rest of the food to be finished. I want to transfer it over here, put the lid on it to keep it warm. And now I'm gonna go get the pot, other pot. So bear with me just a second. duty pot here. All right, that's going to be getting hot for a second. Move some stuff out of my way. Get our chicken opened up here. Let me turn you guys over. Get our chicken opened up. Like I said, this stuff has just been marinating in that sauce all day. That's looking good. Check that out. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, 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 yum. All right. So I do have my tongs here. I'm gonna get the smaller piece of chicken. Lay it into the pot there. And I'm going to add a little bit of this marinade for it to cook in. Alright. And this other piece of chicken is going to go back in the ice to be eaten tomorrow. I'm gonna get that set up and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back to cooking our chicken. I do have a little bit of Weber kicking chicken sauce, or seasoning, excuse me. Check that out. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt there. And basically, I'm just gonna cook this up until it's ready. So let me sit back down. And I'm gonna flip you guys around. All right. So I'm just gonna be flipping this thing over. Basically, we're making this into a makeshift grill because I don't, I can't cook it on the regular grill because for whatever reason it's not firing correctly. I should have seen this coming. This thing's been sitting for a while. But there's nothing much I can do. So yeah, more paddle, some more paddle on stories. So I have never really gotten into a lot of tomfoolery or sh shenanigans in my life, but there is one time that I did. So back, I had just moved out to the more city type area because I came from rural Virginia over in Tazewell and Richlands County. 
and uh, we started going to the YMCA after school because it was easy. My mom didn't have to worry about us. We'd go play basketball, swim, work out. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the pool and in the, they had a sauna room, they had a hot tub. We were living large. It was at a YMCA that had a lot of stuff. But a little while down the line, I got myself a girlfriend. I won't say her name. Um, we'll just call her... I can't even think of a girl's name. We'll just call her S. So S and I had been dating for a little while. And then she started coming with the C uh, to the YMCA with us after school because uh, she was wanting to hang out with me. I was wanting to hang out with her. So, you know, typical boyfriend, girlfriend type stuff. I'm going to flip this over real quick, folks. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I'm going to add some seasoning to the other side. Turn the heat up a little bit. Um, but she started to come hanging out with me a little bit at the YMCA from time to time. And we discovered this little room. They didn't really have a nice place for you to hang out. They had a couple of um, places with some like, one of those wire chairs that almost looks like kind of a, you know, just has the random back and it's made out of like this steel wire or whatever. Just some weird chairs. So you ha didn't really have anywhere that you can kind of hang out with any kind of privacy. It was really in the open. There wasn't any places where you can go and just sit by yourself. Uh, so we discovered this room. Now technically it was in the family rocker room and it was meant for pregnant women to change in. I fully admit that. Terrible for doing it, but teenagers are going to do what a teenager is going to do. So we start hanging out in that um, room a lot. There was nobody that ever came in there. If anybody had asked us to leave the room, or if a pregnant lady came up and said, hey, I want to leave, I want to use the room, we would have left. No problem. Not really that kind of people. That's, oh, this is my room. You can't be in here. This is mine. No, it wasn't like that at all. But eventually, you know, we kept doing it, we kept doing it, and a worker discovered in, us in there one day. They were like, hey, you can't be in here. This is not meant for y'all. And, okay, we'll just come back after you leave. So we left, then we came back. And so it turns out we got caught, we got stopped by a, uh, a worker there one time. He's like, I want y'all to know that we had to have an entire meeting about you guys. And we're like, you had to have a meeting about us sitting in a room just hanging out? They were like, yeah, we had to have a little meeting about it. You said, you can't, be, you guys can't be in there anymore, period. So then we had to stop. I was like, you had to have a whole meeting. If you would have told, you know, if you told us we didn't, we weren't allowed to come back in the room, we would have been fine with that. We were just a bunch of kids that are hanging out in a private place, you know, close the door, have a little makeout session sometimes. We're teenagers, hormones, it happens. But yeah, so that's, that's about the only moderate thing of trouble, quote unquote, that I've ever been in. I've never been arrested, never gotten so much as a speeding ticket. I'm a good boy. <laughs> so yeah, not really a troublemaker, never have been, probably never will be, but it is what it is. This, kick it, this chicken, guys, is smelling so good right now. I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to show you guys the finished product once it's done. And we'll be right back. Peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the food is done. Check it out. Some nice chicken and rice for your Padawan to eat on. Go back up. Give me just a second. I also have a fine drink selection this evening. Arizona Arnold Palmer half and half tea and lemonade light. 
this is some good stuff. This is one of my favorite drinks right now. I really love some Arizona. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food, and then I'll start, come back, I'll either show you some dishwashing, or I'll show you my setup for sleeping. Thank you for checking out the whole video so far. DarksunClipGrip.com, DSOVN.net, and if you're local to the Fishersville area, hopefully I saw you at the show. Padawan will be back soon. Padawan out. Alright guys, Padawan back at you again. Um, so I had to kind of quiet it down a little bit. It is getting a little lighter here. And like I said, I do have neighbors and I don't want to disturb anybody. So I've gone ahead and gotten everything cleaned up, out of the way, all the trash in a bag. You know, Padawan's got to take care of his cave. So now I'm going to show you my bed set up so you guys can kind of take a look at that. So I'm going to turn you guys around. All right, so because I knocked the camera over, so I've got a basic little nice fluffy blanket, sleeping bag for you know retaining warmth, you know, and I've got a couple of thermal wraps mattresses underneath of it. So now I'm gonna make myself a little makeshift pillow. So I'm gonna flip you guys back. Alright, so I just want to do a quick shout out. Uh, we've got a couple of these Ridgeline beanies in right now. We also have some from Columbia as well. They're going to be available with me here um, at the gun show, hopefully. And they'll be coming to future shows as well, so keep that in mind. They're great little beanies, nice, warm, um, keeping you, your head cool. I know we're going into spring, but it's 50 degrees outside right now, so it's still going to be cold for a little while, apparently. Who knows what's going on with the crazy weather in Virginia. But I just wanted to give this a shout out. And I've got another new product to show you later in the video. I will show that to you guys first thing in the morning. Um, once we get everything cleaned up and get ready to go to the uh, gun show, which is starting in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and finish everything up, get ready for bed. And then I'll check in with you guys when we go to do the perimeter check before I actually lay down to go to sleep. I'll lock everything up. And then we're done for the evening, and I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. So let me do all that, get ready for the perimeter check, and I'll check out back in in just a moment. All right, Padawan here. We're going to run our perimeter check. Basically just checking the premises, making sure everything's good. We're going to do a circle around the truck, make sure everything's locked. Stay with me, folks. Door number one, locked. Nobody around. Other people have gone to bed already. That's why I'm kind of being quiet. I'm not wanting to make too much noise. And the rain has picked up. I don't know if you can hear it coming off of what's going on around me. Door number two is locked. All right, so as you can see, we have checked our perimeter. All right, I'm gonna do a longer check. All right, so as you can see, there's not too much going on. Everything looks good. No problems at all. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this thing up, lock up, and get in bed. All right, thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you guys in the morning. Padawan, out for the final time. Hey everybody, Padawan here, back on day three of his camping adventure. Um, so, just a little recap of everything that's went on. We had an absolutely killer day yesterday. Sold $1,200 worth of stuff. Um, so thank you all for coming out to see me at the show. Great to meet a lot of you guys. I actually saw somebody that I saw at a previous show um, earlier this year in Harrisonburg. Came out, hang, hung out. Great guy, nice to talk to. Wow, what a day yesterday, guys. I could not believe it. You guys came out and our customers came out in force. Um, 
sold a lot of stuff, really good ammo, um, plenty of 22, some 9mm, along with uh, a couple boxes of some other stuff. So I'm really happy at that. And we also had plenty of merchandise out on the tables. So you guys were getting into all of our new stuff. We finally sold some of our Six Sour line. Um, some more Glock stuff that we just had come in. So we're real thankful for you guys for that. Um, wow, what a day yesterday. Could not believe it. Wore me out. So your Pat one didn't do any filming last night. Um, but I just wanted to come to you guys this morning and do a couple things. So first we're going to throw in a couple of product reviews for items that we picked up for the business and some new products that we're going to have coming to a gun show near you. So I'm going to do a review on that and then uh, we'll do a little morning constitutional and we'll get ready and prep for the show because it's about 8 o'clock right now. Show starts at 10 so I got a little bit of time to myself. So let's do this. All right, next part coming up. All right, everybody, Paddle One's back at you again with a new product reveal. So as you know, for my earlier camping setup video, I had these mattresses out on the cot, which is actually stationed right behind the camera. So we have added this new item. Ranger bands, really tight, well-made rubber bands. Doesn't feel like it's gonna pop or burst. Definitely really sturdy, holding up well. Because before I was just using some basic rubber bands and we all know they can be super flimsy if you get the cheap stuff and even then if you get the higher grade items, it's hit or miss. But these work great, really solid, holding everything together well. It's actually compressed down tighter than uh, when I first brought it, which is crazy to think about. So we do have packs of those Ranger bands in various sizes. Um, going to be coming to a gun show in a year. They're $4 each, but again, you get a couple of the bigger bands, one or two of the larger size regular bands, and then down from there, we have like five total sizes, four or five total sizes that come in these packs of bands. Uh, some of them do just have the smaller sizes as well, so you can kind of mix and match, choose what's going to work best for you and use your situation when you're camping or just something if you need around the house for storing your gear. I highly would recommend picking yourself up. I actually have a bag for my go bag as well, thanks to the wise man. So, something essential to keep in your kit when you're doing stuff like this. So keep that in mind. Ranger bands that you can pick up at dsobn.net or darksunclipgrip.com. Or here with me at the shows like we are doing it here in Fisherville, which we will have a couple more dates coming up. If you caught the earlier part of the video, you'll have a rundown of those dates. All right, we're going to do a couple more things, probably a morning constitutional like I said, and then we're going to get at it for the day, show you guys the tables at day three. All right, Padawan out. Padawan here, coming at you with another product review. Um, so as you all know, I do carry my little Black Widow North American Arms um, revolver. And of course, I do have our signature Dark Sun Clip Grip. It is a little beaten up, so you know it's been traveling to the shows with me. So we got us a new product in from Revision CV, a mini loading ammo pod for the North American Arms 22 Magnum revolver. As you can see here, it's got five Magnum shots in it. So it does lock down the bullets. I can turn it upside down. It does also come with a carrying little cover and it does have a loop there if you wanted to put it on say a string or something like that so it's easier to get to. Of course, it's also small and compact enough to fit in your pocket and or a small pocket in your bag. So if you needed to access it quickly, you could put it somewhere you can easily reach it. So we'll, So we're gonna test loading it which I have not done yet. So I'm gonna pop out my little uh, holder slash ramrod for the cylinder. Pull my cylinder out here. Now what should happen is when I push it up into the cylinder, this portion should go down. There's our little dot here. It will go down, unlock the bullets and they should fall straight into the cylinder. 
So we can go ahead and do that right now. Show you guys off. Let me adjust my fingers here real quick. So we should be able to push down. And the bullets drop right in. Do have the seat one. Not bad though. That might be the cylinder versus the loader. So little revision CV loader for the North American Arms 22 Magnum Revolver E Series. Mine again is the Black Widow, which has the in lengthened barrel, the improved sights, as you can see here, versus the base model. And now we have this brand new product, works great. Little revision CV North American Arms loader. As I said, you can, so if you wanted to reload this, we can show that to you guys as well. I'm going to start dropping these in. Fumbling with my ammo box a little bit. But you basically seat all these rounds. Then you push the button here on the bottom, as you can see. That locks in place. And I'm shaking it a fair bit. It's not disengaging the bullets. And then again, I would just drop it into the cylinder. And once it engages and pushes that button back, it releases the bullets. So nice little pickup for your North American Arms 22 Magnum revolver. Um, if there's enough, enough interest, maybe we'll pick some up and carry them with us to the shows. So let us know down in the comments what you think. Uh, again, little revision CV Magnum loader, loading ammo pod. So I'll be carrying with this, this with me in my bag from now on. Definitely a great little piece. And keep a lookout. You never know if we get enough comments, enough interest. We might pick some up for this for DSOVN.net or DarkSunClipGrip.com. So let us know. All right, that's a product review from your Padawan. He's going to start getting prepped and ready for the show. Padawan out. Good morning, everyone. Padawan coming to you one more time before we go into the show. Uh, I just want to do a little morning constitutional on this wonderful and beautiful Sunday morning. Share a little bit of the Word of God with everybody. Um, so I'm going to be reading uh, two verses out of the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 4 through 5. For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. <clears throat> so, one thing that we always do before we come to every gun show is that we take a little bit of time to pray for safety, for health, and if it is God's will for us to receive his blessing. We reap and we sow, as the wise man likes to say, but it is God who gives the increase in everything that we do. So, it is with wonder and thankfulness that I come to you guys this morning to share the word of God, because it is him who provides our increase, and, of course, I want to provide thanksgiving in this day for everything that I have received, both from everyone around me, as well as all the blessings that God has given me. So, we're going to say a quick prayer. Um, Padawan's going to say his quick prayer. Get ready and go set up in the show. So, I just want to thank you guys all for watching the video up until this point. Um, if you like what you see, come back for more. We're always making new content for you guys. And uh, remember to be thankful to God. Because without Him, there is nothing. He is our Lord and our Savior. And I am very thankful for him today. Paddle on out. Thank you all for watching. And thank you, God, for another day upon this earth.